I'm Don Chum, Vice President of Audiology and Professional Relations at Oticon, Inc. Today I want to talk about an important new initiative as part of our pediatric program. At Oticon, we have a simple mission. We want to create a better future for every child with hearing loss. In support of that mission, we've described the brain hearing concept. Brain hearing captures our approach to creating solutions for children with hearing loss. Why would we go down this road? Well, we fundamentally believe that parents want to understand and have confidence in the recommendations made by the audiologist in terms of which technology should be obtained for their child with hearing loss. We understand that you have a tremendous responsibility to provide clear and concise guidance to parents. Sometimes the technology solutions that are available to parents can be overwhelming and confusing. We want to make sure that we help support you in your process of trying to provide clear, concise guidelines to parents. When we talk about brain hearing, what is it we're trying to get at? Well, it starts from a very fundamental observation that speech understanding is a cognitive process. It happens in the brain. We want to be able to provide solutions that provide the brain the very best information so that the child has the best possibility to get the most out of the spoken word. Sound plays a role in the development not just of cognitive development, but also in the areas of speech and language development, learning, social development, and so many other areas. Importantly, we understand that sensory neural hearing loss can disrupt this normal course of cognitive development. Sound that is missing, sound that is distorted, sound that is unreliable will not allow the child to make that natural linkage between sound and meaning. At a very fundamental level, what we mean by brain hearing is that amplified sound must serve as a dependable source of information for the developing child. What do we mean when we say that sound has to serve as a dependable source of information? Well, it's captured in three basic requirements. Amplified sound must be complete, amplified sound must be accurate, and amplified sound must be consistent. If those three requirements are met, then the child has a very good chance of making that important link between sound and meaning. In order to meet the first criteria that amplified sound is complete, that's met by two specific features in our products. First of all, we are fully compatible with the DSL approach to amplification for children. To that end, we ensure that the full range of input levels become audible for the child. In addition, we put strong emphasis on extended bandwidth and amplification. We believe that the very best way to get important high-frequency speech information to the child is to do it in a natural and direct way in the higher frequencies. In order to meet the second criteria, that amplified sound be accurate, there are three specific features that we are particularly proud of. First, SpeechGuard-E is our approach to managing the dynamic characteristics of a nonlinear system. SpeechGuard-E is designed to protect the vital details in the speech waveform. The speech waveform is full of information that the brain can make use of, but some amplification approaches can distort or otherwise obscure some of this important information. SpeechGuard-E is designed to provide the most natural and most complete picture of these details out of the speech signal. Secondly, when the child is in the classroom, voice priority I ensures that the teacher's voice always comes through at an excellent signal-to-noise ratio, even when the classroom gets quite noisy. It works hand-in-hand -hand with our and any other FM system to ensure that the teacher's voice is always the most important signal that the child can hear. And finally, when the child is outside the classroom especially, and it's noisy, our free focus directional system is designed to ensure the highest level of signal to noise ratio as often as possible for the child. And in order to meet the third criteria that amplified sound is consistent, just take a look at our design. We pioneered the idea of using LEDs on hearing aids so that the parents, the teachers, and any other caretakers could know the functional status of the hearing aids at any moment in time. Also, we put tremendous effort into our design process to ensure a high level of both robustness and safety. In fact, we meet the highest level of standards in the industry. You play a vital role in the lives of the children that you serve. We are happy to be able to join you in creating a better future for every child with hearing loss. For myself and all my colleagues at Oticon, we want to thank you for this privilege.